Hello, this is Father Al Seski. I'm the pastor of St. Joan of Arc Parish in Hershey, Pennsylvania. And today I'm going to walk with you uh, uh, through the procedures that we're going to do as we enter the yellow phase of the coronavirus pandemic and how we're going to reopen the churches here at St. Joan of Arc in Hershey. First of all, I want to thank you for being so patient these past two months as we have had to stay away from Mass and the sacraments and normal parish life for the sake of protecting one another from the coronavirus. This pandemic has taken its toll on all of us. I want to thank the many of you who have reached out and thanked us, Father Roth, the sisters, Mike Davis, myself, for live streaming our masses and devotions and classes and the Barefoot Confessor and making them available online. So many of you have told us it brought you comfort during this time. I want you to know that as we move from our St. Lucy Chapel to the church, we will continue to live stream our 9 a.m. daily Mass and 9.30 a.m. Sunday Mass from the church. I truly believe that this is a new evangelization tool and also a way to bring the parish to our sick and shut-ins. We will be moving back into the church the weekend of June 6th and 7th. This is the Feast of the Holy Trinity. What better way to celebrate our return than to give praise and worship to God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Just a reminder that we are in level yellow of our reopening, and there are restrictions as we move forward. We are depending on individuals to self-monitor to make sure that they are able to attend Mass. That means you should not come to Mass if you have tested positive for COVID-19, you have symptoms of COVID-19 or are feeling unwell, you have been in contact with someone who has COVID-19, you have a suppressed immunity, immune system, you are more susceptible to COVID-19 because of underlying conditions such as heart disease, diabetes, lung disease, high blood pressure, etc. Please discuss with your personal physician if you have any questions about coming back to Mass. And if you think you should not be coming to Mass, please remember that Bishop Gaynor has dispensed from the obligation to attend Mass until further notice. Make the best decision for yourself and for others. Okay, let's begin with the Mass schedule. Once again, public Mass will begin here at St. Joan of Arc on the weekend of June 6th and 7th. We will keep the Sunday Mass schedule. We will continue to have Mass at 5 p.m. on Saturday evening, Sunday morning Masses at 7.30, 9.30, and 11.30 a.m., and Sunday evening Mass at 5 p.m. The Sunday morning Masses will be celebrated in the church as usual. But please note, and this is very important, the 5 p.m. Masses on Saturday and Sunday evening will be celebrated at our new school at 1531 Sand Hill Road. These Masses will be celebrated outside when the weather is nice. Otherwise, these Masses will be celebrated in the gymnasium there at the school. If we anticipate celebrating Mass in the gym because of inclement weather, we will post a sign at the entrance of the school by 4.30 p.m. We encourage as many people as possible to attend the evening Masses because we have much more space available outside. Remember, during the yellow phase, we must maintain social distancing at least six feet and wear masks. The directions from the bishop's office is that we only allow one-third capacity of our churches for masses to be filled and that we maintain the social distancing required by the state. We have measured off our church and we can uh, allow approximately 135 parishioners at each Mass. The gymnasium at the new school can hold approximately 300 parishioners standing. 
outdoors, obviously, we can accommodate many more. We want as many of our parishioners as possible to come to Mass for worship. In order to avoid large crowds at the church on Sunday morning, please consider coming to the outdoor Mass on Sand Hill Road. Now let's talk about what will happen at Mass. First, Mask must be worn and social distancing must be observed at all Masses. Please provide your own mask and gloves should not be worn. Two, Mass will have music only at the 9.30 a.m. Mass on Sunday morning. This Mass will be live streamed. Mike Davis will play and canter that Mass. There will be no choir at this time. At the other Masses, we will recite the Mass parts, or they may be sung a cappella, a cappella as we have been doing at daily Mass, but we won't be singing hymns and we won't be passing out worship aids. As you enter the church, you will be directed to designated seats marked with blue tape. At the outdoor Masses, we ask that you find an area for yourself and for your family that maintains social distancing. Distribution of Holy Communion will take place after Mass is finished. This is to avoid everyone gathering at the doors of the church as they leave, as we normally do on a Sunday. If you are not receiving Holy Communion, you may leave at the end of Mass. If you are receiving Holy Communion, you will maintain social distancing as you come forward. In the church, there will be decals on the floor to tell you where to stand. Hand sanitizers will be in the aisles for you to use before you come up to receive. Please maintain social distancing as you leave the church or the gymnasium or even outdoors uh, up on Sand Hill Road. During these first few weeks, we will monitor the number of people coming for Mass. If we see that there is a need for overflow seating and standing, and we'll have this uh, ready for our very first weekend, but if we see there's a need for overflow seating, we will use the parish cafeteria slash social hall. Mass will be live streamed there, and Holy Communion will be distributed in the social hall. So you won't have to come over to the church. We'll come over to you with communion. Baskets will be provided at the entrances for your Sunday offering. There will be no collections being taken up and the gifts will not be brought forward by anybody. At outdoor masses, you are welcome to bring chairs, umbrellas for the heat, or blankets to sit on. Of course, since mass will be shorter without music and Holy Communion will be distributed at the end of the mass, you are welcome to stand. And by the way, for the first 1,500 years of Mass, there were no pews. People always stood. Let's talk about daily Mass. Daily Mass will be celebrated Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. At this time, we, there will be no 6.45 a.m. Mass. The reason for this is that we need to disinfect the church before and after each Mass. We need at least a half hour to disinfect the church. Our maintenance staff will disinfect at 8 a.m. and again after Mass between 9.30 and 10 a.m. Please, for the daily Mass, plan on coming to daily Mass, but only after 8.30 a.m. For daily Mass, through Monday through Friday at 9 a.m., you may enter through the doors on Glen Avenue, or the side entrance, the one that can, goes down toward the, uh, the restrooms or up toward the choir loft, you may enter at the side entrance on Ariba Avenue. Sit in the pews that are marked. Mass will proceed as on Sunday. We will not at this time begin to schedule liturgical ministers for Mass, but rather the clergy, sisters, music minister, and our seminarian who's with us for the summer, that we will serve in this capacity. 
Finally, we will distribute Holy Communion in your cars to those who have participated at Mass via live streaming from 1 to 2 p.m. each Sunday under the covering in front of the Ariba Avenue School. Not across from the Blessed Mother Shrine, you know where we have the circle in front of the rectory. Not there, but rather where the buses drop off the kids for school. So that covering that's out in front of the school on Ariba Avenue. Simply drive through from Valley Road and exit onto Ariba Avenue after you have received communion. I encourage you to park your car somewhere safe for a time of private prayer and thanksgiving. Okay, let's move on to, uh, on to making private visits to the Blessed Sacrament in the Church. If you choose to come to the Church and pray during the week, please use the Glen and Ariba Avenue entrances. There will be sections of the Church which will be available for your use. Please restrict yourself to these areas so that we don't have to go through and, and clean uh, the whole church uh, every single day, uh, but there'll be restricted sections. We will provide disinfectant wipes for you to clean the area where you have been praying. We cannot monitor all the visits to the church and our maintenance staff will not be available to clean after each visit. We just thank you very much for your cooperation regarding this. Now for confessions. It is preferable that air is circling, circulating in areas where parishioners will gather as a parish. Speaking of which, we will be leaving the doors to the church open during the day and the windows to keep the air flowing. Confessions at this time will be heard under the arcade in front of the school. The priest will be seated with a screen between him and the impenitent and the penitent. In order to, dis, to avoid disinfecting after each confession, we are going to ask that you stand for confession. No chairs or kneelers will be provided. Stand at the proper distance and confess your sins. This sacrament is not the place for prolonged spiritual counseling anyway, but especially at this time, please simply confess your sins and celebrate the sacrament devoutly as possible in this situation. Cloth-covered partitions, or some kind of partitions, will be set up to absorb sound so that your confession is not heard. And we are making a decision. Most likely we're going to start hearing confessions uh, on June 6th, and we'll have some uh, hours in the morning and some hours in the afternoon we won't be hearing confessions right before the 5 p.m. Mass up at Sand Hill because of just figuring out how all this works to start out with. So we'll be having a schedule of times for confessions, and that will be available by this weekend. Our parish office will open at its regular hours starting on Monday, June 8th. Please use the ramp entrance to our parish offices in order to maintain social distancing. And remember, masks must be worn while doing office business. We will evaluate the resumption of using parish meeting spaces for our ministries and, or and organizations in the next few weeks. So we're not going to be starting back with all of our um, uh, committee and, and, and parish meetings here in um, the church and in the, the school at this time. We will communicate uh, our decisions to you as far as when we're going to be able to start to do that. I want to thank you so much for listening. I know if we all work together, this will be a smooth transition. And once again, all of us are so excited to see you again, to be able to worship with you again, and at the same time to make sure that we're all safe. So I want to thank you for uh, listening today and just want to say God bless you and thank you for all that you've been doing and that all you will do in the future weeks and months as we enter this yellow phase. Thanks and God bless.